miss making music together. But I feel like above all right now, as we all social distance, we are missing that human connection, the community that we have built together. It was then that I realized I wanted to try to capture that feeling somehow and maybe find a way for our students and families to experience that and feel that even though we are apart. And of course, do something special for our seniors. So here we are. So throughout tonight's virtual celebration, you'll see some very candid moments from the classroom. You will hear some of our students' favorite performances and performances from our travels. So some performances maybe that you've never seen before. Um, chorus alumni will share some of their favorite chorus memories. The Matilda cast will be making a, an appearance and some other surprises. So, all right, well, let's get the celebration started um, with a special look at our chorus in quarantine. <laughs>
think I box them all in noon, night and day. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As you can see, the chorus has been hard at work um, since leaving school. They've been singing and sharing some of their favorite music with everyone. And I am now aboard the Millennium Falcon, as you can see. Um, the <laughs> uh, but they've also been really silly and it's super, it's been really fun to watch all of their videos and I hope you enjoyed seeing some of what they've been doing. Uh, the next video that we're gonna look at uh, is gonna feature our beginning chorus. Uh, our beginning chorus is a combination of our fifth and sixth graders and um, they're going to be sharing some of their most memorable performances and also do what's called a virtual choir video. So just really quick so you guys understand what I mean when I say virtual choir. Um, I do not have the fancy equipment that makes those really fancy virtual choirs that you see online. Um, so what I do is all of your students are sent recordings home that they have to listen to and learn. And then what they'll do is they'll play that recording back on one device with a headphone in their ear and then record themselves singing it on another device. Okay, so then I take all of those recordings, so like the beginning chorus is like 24 kids. I take all 24 of those recordings and I put them in a program and mix them all together so it sounds like they're singing together. And um, the beginning chorus did a project um, with the song Happiness from Your Good Man Charlie Brown. So let's take a look at our beginning chorus.
pencil, pizza with sausage, telling a time. Happiness is learning to whistle, tying your shoe for the very first time. Happiness is playing the drum in your room, school band, and happiness. Happiness is two kinds of ice cream Knowing a secret, climbing a tree Happiness is five different crayons Catching a firefly, setting him free Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I really did. That song is just so sweet and I loved hearing the kids sing it on their recordings. They did such an awesome job. I'm so proud of them. Um, yeah, and a lot of that is awesome. Happiness is coming home again, which I really feel like Fayetteville Academy is our home and I really can't wait to be back there. All right, so now to something a little bit different. We're gonna take a trip down memory lane with our men's chorus. What is it like teaching a group of boys to sing? It's unique, it's a unique experience. They often have a lot of ideas and I do let them do a lot of those ideas as long as it's not like dangerous because sometimes they are, let's be real. Um, but uh, <laughs> um, let me share one of my favorite men's chorus stories. Um, and I actually was just told the story recently because I forgot that it happened. So this is a good snapshot of what it's like to teach boys um, in men's chorus. So we were on choir tour and I ran into one of the boys um, or a group of the boys and one of them had just purchased an energy drink, opened it, hadn't drank any of it, not a sip, you know who you are. I'm not gonna say who. And I, it was 11.30 at night, the day before like a performance on choir tour so I took this energy drink and I threw it away. And he was like, Ms. V, what did you do that for? I was like, you cannot be drinking this at 1130 at night. That's what it's like to teach men's chorus. But enough of me, I'm gonna let you guys see for yourselves what it's really like, the men's chorus.
Sticker off here. Miss V reached out to us and told us that she wanted us to share uh, some of our reflections on our chorus memories uh, for the 50th anniversary. And looking back on like my favorite songs, my favorite memories, uh, I remember my like my sophomore year. It was 2017. We were doing the uh, trilogy of Knighthood for our spring concert, and just like being with that great group of guys. Uh, Morgan Ashley, Matt Downing, David Martin, Aiden Prince, all those guys. Uh, just really kind of having that men's chorus for the first time in my life, even though I, I was not very good at singing. <laughs> uh, just having that that great group to really enjoy what we were doing uh, was just a, a memory I really look back on uh, in high school and really cherish and love. Um, another one of my favorite memories was doing the Star of Bethlehem at our winter concert uh, my junior year, and everyone was like so pumped behind it. Uh, it, it was just a good time. And of course, all the Disney trips and and all the memories we made there. Hi, uh, I'm Jonathan from the class of 2019. <laughs> and my favorite course memory would have to be when we did a white elephant gift exchange my senior year. The theme was blankets, and for me, my favorite part of that was just when we were gathered around, it kind of reminded me of something that my family and I tend to do. We like Whenever it's Christmas, we like to gather around the tree, uh, take turns on who gets to open what first. And just doing that with my chorus made it feel like more of a family. Plus, it was kind of funny to see everyone fight over who got what. Also, uh, I got to see Alex in A Mermaid Tale, so that made it... 100% worth it. favorite memories from a uh, chorus. I guess I would, if I couldn't pick, you know, some of the few good ones from uh, Disney, I would say when we were setting up for the, the last uh, gala that we got to be a part of. So yeah, that was a, that was a pretty good one for me. It's a good time. It's fun. Uh, a song Maybe uh, Kaki Lambe, because that was just a fun song. Everyone got to take part in it, and it was something, you know, we got to groove to. Uh, got to use more than just our voices. Drums is always fun, so 
want to pay my respects to class of 2020, having to deal with this for their senior year, so uh, doing all right. Respect to you guys. I think chorus and the the program we have at FA is just it's so great for so many reasons just the way it lets people discover themselves and maybe people who weren't as in touch with their artistic side and their creativity uh, and aren't necessarily comfortable sharing that in a great huge environment really get to discover themselves and find out what really makes them tick and uh, it's a great program Miss V Miss V loves it she loves the theater she did, does and I mean, we all love her, and we, I'm so glad that you guys are still singing and you're still enjoying what you're doing. And I hope you had a great time in New York this year. And uh, if you're in the men's chorus, stay strong, represent, love you guys. take a minute and talk about uh, Ryan Pagels, who I mentioned earlier because we're broadcasting from his house and he helped me set up this whole live stream and he went with me today on our journey to talk to all the seniors and give them their speeches. But Ryan is not new to the chorus program for those of you who are younger. Ryan has been our accompanist. He went on choir tour with us. Um, so he's a regular around the chorus program. Um, his last name is Pagels. So some of the kids call him bagels. So last night I mentioned on the chorus, on the men's chorus group chat that Ryan Pagels was going to be helping with the live stream. And then 
they were like pagels, pagels, bagels, bagels. And so then someone said, can there be bagels with pagels? Let's find out. And now, bagels with pagels. Have you ever tried raisin bagels? I didn't know you could raise bagels. Eliane, how do you protect your bagels? I don't know how. You put locks on them. Oh look, it's the store with the um, with the donuts and the Swiss cheese and the um, the bagels. Here's Teeter. Whole Foods. Did you hear in the news about donuts? Um, they're complaining that bagels are stealing their jobs. Uh -huh. But I mean, a do uh, bagel, you know, they gotta make their bread and butter somehow. It's really simple. If seagulls fly over the sea, bagels fly over the bay. What kind of bagel flies? A plain bagel. Do you want an everything bagel? No, I, I don't trust everything bagels. They're, they're just a little seedy. This has been Bagels with Bagels. <sighs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. Bagels with Bagels. It was fun. Fun for me too. Alright, so right before this whole thing started and we were sent home for what we thought would be a shorter period of time and obviously turned into a lot more, we were working on a little project called Matilda the Musical. And lots of chorus students were involved in Matilda the Musical. Um, in fact, I think almost the entire cast, except for maybe a couple kids, were are in the chorus. Anyway, the kids worked so hard on this. They had learned all of the music, like eight dance numbers. We had blocked the entire first act, so it was well on its way to being one of the best productions we've ever done at Fayetteville Academy. Um, so we were really sad to see that be shut down. Um, I have hope that we may still be able to do it in some way in the future. Um, but for now, I would like to share with you this inside look at our production, Matilda the Musical, and a special, special virtual performance of When I Grow Up.
As you can see, the Matilda cast has been working so hard to get that show ready, and I do really hope that somehow, some way, we're able to bring that production to you in some manner because those kids are amazing. And we put swings in the gym. Um, how cool is that? Okay, so the next video features a very special group of children. So. Um, I put it out to the chorus. I asked all the choirs, if your choir had a theme song, what would your theme song be? I heard answers like, the theme from Friends, we are family. And then the JV chorus, crazy train. I think that describes them perfectly, but they are so much fun and I love them. And I think you're really gonna enjoy getting on the crazy train with us and watching this video featuring the Junior Varsity Chorus. Okay, here's yeah, a chicken playing the recorder. No, duct tape it. Don't use the duct tape. <laughs> this is 
the most disturbing thing. <laughs> Yeah.
full sabak. Care best. <laughs> you're lucky you're not playing with Tochaku. He always wins. Always. Huh. Well, that was fun. Ponder. Oh my gosh. I was so excited when Ponder decided to join chorus. He sang with us a little bit last year, but he wasn't in the class. He came at lunch and sang with us at our end of the year concert. And man, it's been so awesome to have him. But I totally agree with the JV chorus kids. That song is so much fun. So thank you guys for choosing that uh, for tonight's video. All right, so the next video that we're going to look at is a special look at the Varsity Chorus's trip to New York City. We had the most amazing time. We got to see Broadway shows. We got to work with Broadway professionals, including a music director and an actor from Beetlejuice the Musical. We learned stage combat. We got to perform in this beautiful cathedral and so much more. It just was a wonderful trip for the students, for the parents, and for me. And I'm so grateful that I got to give them that experience this year. So here we go, the one where we go to New York. in Japanese. Oh, thanks. That's Ronan, chilling. We're going to Nintendo World. Nintendo World. We're so excited. Here's Talana. She's got crutches. Yeah, and a bagel. And a bagel. Very good. But we've all made it here, and that's very exciting. Okay. We almost died. <laughs> no, we didn't. The bus was like, we oh. <laughs> NYC. What is it about you? You're big, you're loud, you're tough. And why see? I go years without you, and I can't get enough, enough of cab drivers answering back. In language far from pure Enough of Frankfurters answering back uh, Brother, you know It's the same, it's the same thing as your punch The hand doesn't come forward, the elbow just brings it right through Still use your hips for force Ready? You want to be here with you? Smack your hips Smack your hips Yes, beautiful! Everyone spin when you see that little safety tube around Can you feel it? You're like in your own cylinder of safety and happiness Everybody is and start on the whole, you know, being dead thing, you're doomed, enjoy the singing, the sword of Damocles is swinging, 
And if I hear your cell phone ringing... So remember the big skeleton number? Yes. Yes. yes! So this next is gonna be like jangly bone skeleton, okay? You're being like possessed again. And so what I want to see in your face in this one is like, why is this happening to me? So we're gonna shoot up here and I need jangly bones, jangly bones, almost like your shoulders are higher than your head, kind of scarecrow looking. And it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Okay? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Down, up, down, up, okay? Now they all see they're out of my one, two, three, four. Because of that, great. <laughs>
down from the sky. That's beautiful. Uh, uh, so early. Uh, and possible uh, soccer, please contact uh, 39702 for a message of Possible Soccer for 39702 for a message. You are here at the start of a moment on the edge of the world where the river meets the sea.
do you want a banana? <laughs> Peel it down and drop it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want a banana? <laughs> this <laughs> one. <laughs> Do you want a banana? City on the run, who try to make a little fun. Yvette Stokes, if you are watching, I'm I'm still I'm saying Alex Brightman. One day we'll get it right. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That trip was absolutely incredible. And yeah, it just was, I mean, as you can see, it was just amazing. And hearing the kids sing in that cathedral was just an awe-inspiring experience. Um, so the next video we're gonna look at, we spent some time taking a look at our men's chorus. The next video is going to feature our incredible women's chorus. Um, so the very first time we went to Disney, um, to compete in Festival Disney. I went with a very teeny choir of 14 girls and we competed in the women's chorus category and um, we were there and there were so many other schools with these huge choirs, like 60, 70 kids in their choir and we're this little teeny tiny group and I remember standing on the stage at the award ceremony and seeing these mass groups of kids with matching shirts out in the audience and seeing our little group of girls huddled together holding hands, waiting for the results. They called um, bronze, wasn't us. They called silver, it wasn't us. And I could see they were like, please. And then gold, Fayetteville Academy Women's Chorus. And we lost our minds. It was such an incredible experience. And then a couple years later when we went back, we took it again. The women took it all again. Our mixed chorus took silver and it was so great. But um, here's a look at our wonderful women's chorus. Hello. So, um, my name is EJ Scott. <laughs> I graduated class of 2014 from Fayetteville Academy. And, um, what is, what can I say about chorus? So I really enjoyed being in varsity chorus. Uh, it was a really great experience. I think one of my favorite parts of being in chorus was, um, <laughs> I guess the fact that I was like the oldest, it was really nice because Miss V put a lot of responsibility in me and a lot of the kids um, looked up to me, not in height because most of them were taller than me, but um, <laughs> in age and responsibility. And it just gave me a lot of new experiences. I really enjoyed that we got to sing a lot of contemporary songs. So singing songs from Lord and singing Bohemian Rhapsody and um, I remember distinctly doing the high note for that song, <laughs> the, the like first soprano, and it was just great. experience at Disney too because that was something that we just brought up on a whim and then it happened and we went and it was so exciting it was my first time at Disney and I just remember <laughs> my one of my favorite memories from chorus and from that trip specifically was I got to sit next to Miss V 
when we were riding on a roller coaster and we were performing the next day and she told all of us not to scream and ruin our voices. So the whole time I was just singing <laughs> in my upper register, just releasing a lot of vibrato and the whole time she was laughing at me. And when I look back on it, that took a lot of skill, but it was also probably like really shocking for the people that were on the ride. Um, I really hope that I can go back to the academy and perform with the current chorus someday and just, I don't know, showcase a lot of the skills <laughs> that I got from Miss V and that I learned about during um, my time being in music and theater in high school and in college. But yeah, I hope everyone's staying safe. It's crazy times out there and I miss the chorus dearly. Have a good day. <laughs> with Miss V but one of my favorite was the first time we went to Disney and we got to perform and we took a plane ride there and I remember making up a song about athletic shorts with Cameron and my favorite song that we sang during all my years in chorus was definitely Bohemian Rhapsody. The world is coming to an end. <laughs> choir was definitely when we went to Disney my junior year and we won and that was so cool the after party was so much fun where we all got to just like you know relish in the fact that we actually made it and we did it um and the whole process leading up to it was so cool it was such a bonding experience and um I think my favorite song is definitely famine song that we sang at Disney all the girls that was the coolest moment and um also definitely go where I send the I think those two songs um, were definitely a pivotal point in um, like everyone's choir journey. <laughs> Anyways, um, happy 50th.
incredible performances from our women. They just never cease to amaze me. And they work so hard and just, ah, oh, I love you ladies, all of you that are watching out there. Um, I miss singing with you. Um, so yeah, great. Um, the next video we're gonna look at, I asked the Varsity Chorus to tell me some of their favorite songs that they've done during their time here at the Academy, as the seniors. And a couple pieces kept popping up more than others. So we're gonna share those with you right now. Hi, uh, it's Tawana here. And um, when I sung Wait in the Water, it was like a really big moment for me. It was one of my first times performing in front of like a pretty big crowd as like a solo. And it was really special because it was my sophomore year, it was my second year there, and it was my second year being with the chorus. And it was really nice to have their support behind me with their lovely voices. And it was just really special. And I'll always remember that song.
enjoyed learning Jabberwocky. It was one of the first pieces that we like added movement to, and it was really interesting and fun. supposed to sing it um as a as a duet and that day the scene she was sick and so i approached talana and i said talana you have to sing this as a solo and she looked at me like no no i i can't do that <laughs> and then she did and it was amazing so proud of you um with that and i would also like to give a shout out to dr michael martin who choreographed that 
piece, the Jabber, uh, Jabberwocky for us. Um, this, it's a piece he does with his with the Methodist University Chorale, with whom we have a wonderful re working relationship. Um, and so he came out to the school and taught his moves that he does with his choir to our choir. So we were able to take that on tour, and it was so much fun. So thank you, Michael, for that. Woo! Woo! Um, okay, so we're getting out to the end here. Uh, today I did something really, really special. Um, every year at the chorus gala or the at the fine arts gala during the chorus part, um, I recognize all of our seniors by giving a personalized speech about them and they get a flower and we all hug and cry and then the whole chorus sings a song together one last time with the seniors. Well, obviously today we can't be together. So I set up a little surprise for our seniors and Ryan and I went to each of their homes and play, their parents played them a special video. And at the end of the video, they came out to their front, out of their front door and I left a rose on their doorstep. And I was there, uh, six plus six, six, six feet, oh, I can't talk anymore, six feet plus away. And I delivered their senior speeches for them. And it was a super emotional day um, to carry that all day long, but it was wonderful and it was so wonderful seeing them. And I wish I could have hugged them, but um, I owe you guys all a hug. Um, so anyway, the video that we put together is the junior varsity chorus students and the varsity chorus students um, all singing uh, Seasons of Love from the musical Rent. So this is a virtual choir performance. And we put together this special tribute for our seniors. At the end of the video, it has me talking about how I'm gonna be on their porch and stuff, but I'm not gonna be on your porch, I'm sorry. I'm stuck here. But I hope you enjoy our tribute to the seniors. I have never met a greater group of people to work with for chorus. You all are amazing. This has been one of the best years of chorus I think I've ever had. And I don't know what we're gonna do. I wish we could have had our last month together. We really miss out on a lot. Love you guys. I have so many good memories of experiences, things we've done together. I'm taking them with me for the rest of my life. I'm never forgetting you guys. Don't worry. I hope you just never forget us. Come back and visit sometime, please. <laughs>
Hi guys, uh, there's so much I want to say to all of you, and typically today, which would have been the Fine Arts Gala, I would have given each of you a personalized speech in front of everyone to so, sort of commemorate your years with us in chorus, but of course, given everything going on, we can't be together today for the gala. So I decided to come to your house. So you should go outside so I can give you your senior speech. And at that point, they would come outside and I would be waiting for them to give them their senior speech. So I'm sure you can tell it was a super emotional day. Um, if you are on the chorus, the Fayetteville Academy Chorus Facebook page, all of the videos from their speeches are posted there so you can go back and watch them and, and watch that happen because it was a really nice, um, really nice moments there for sure. So this brings us about to the end of our first ever live stream, my first ever live stream. This is totally new for me, but it's been really fun. Thank you guys so much for those of you who are watching, students, parents, teachers. I see all of you guys commenting. Um, the course program at the Academy is so special and so strong and just means a lot to me. It's it's just, it's such a family and that's due to all of you out there watching, supporting us, whether you are in the choir and singing or you're a parent of a student or you just come and watch what we do and tell people about what we do. It's so important. Um, chorus is so much more than singing. Um, as you can see, it does so much for these children and for the people in their lives. And I'm so happy that I get to be a part of that with all of you and that I was able to hopefully bring some of that feeling to you tonight in your homes while we are uh, all separated. Now, my part is done. I'm not gonna be talking at you anymore tonight, but we do have some bonus content up here on this uh, live stream that will continue. Um, some clips from our uh, performance from The Greatest Showman, so some fun stuff there. Uh, the virtual choir that the Varsity Chorus did of Finale B from Rent, and a very special music video project that was done by one of our Varsity Chorus members, David Martin. So stay tuned for that if you want to, but you're not gonna see me talking again tonight. Um, I will tell you that the video of this live stream and all of these videos that you see here tonight will be sent out in a link if you guys want to revisit them or if you know someone who wasn't able to tune in, they will still be able to get to see the videos. Um, so thank you so much and I hope I'll be seeing you guys soon. Um, thank you to Ryan Pagels for all of his help tonight in making this happen. Um, good night, everyone. I miss you.
place and uh oh it seems you left at some point 